Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make your very own perfume oil. I was inspired by this perfume from Urban Outfitters, and after looking at the ingredients I realized this can be a DIY. All we'll need are some fragrant essential oils, nourishing carrier oils, and real dried flowers for that artisanal Etsy touch. These perfume oils are completely customizable, which makes it a great gift for the holidays or for birthdays or for any occasion. Bonus, if you're ingredient conscious, this is the easiest way to ensure you know exactly what's going into your fragrances. Here's what you'll need. Carrier oils are vegetable and nut oils that we will use to dilute the potent essential oils in our fragrance. I've chosen almond and apricot seed oil, so be sure to do your research to make sure you don't have any allergic reactions. Glass roll-on bottles of various sizes, the essential oils of your choosing, cotton rounds, and dried flowers. And now that we've sourced all our supplies, now comes the fun part, creating your fragrance. In this video, I'll show you two of the fragrances I've made, but these are just suggestions. Feel free to purchase the essential oils that you like and that you think would smell good. What I usually do is I go to Whole Foods, sit there and smell things for like half an hour, take notes, and then go buy them online. So remember, all those links will be in the video description box below. The first essential oil combination I like to call Calming Creamsicle. I use sweet orange oil as the top note. It's sweet, it's bright, it's a little tangy, and um, it's the first smell that you smell when you put this perfume oil on your body. But it's also the first fragrance that will fade. Next, I'll add Roman chamomile essential oil, and this will be my middle note, otherwise known as the heart note. Chamomile reminds me of that sleepy time tea, it's calming, and it's soothing. And as my base note, I will use vanilla essential oil. Vanilla is warm, rich, inviting. It is my base note, meaning it's the foundation of the fragrance. It's the last smell to evaporate. And because of that, it is the longest lasting scent. This next part isn't really required. It's just something that I like to do. I like to put one drop of each essential oil onto a cotton round and waft it gently into my face, just to make sure that the fragrance combination that I thought of in my mind actually smells good in real life. So here's what you'll need if you want to recreate my second fragrance, which I've affectionately titled Bearded Bay. I'm using lime essential oil as my top note. It's fresh, bright, tangy, citrusy, obviously. As my middle or heart note, I'm gonna be using bergamot essential oil. It is a citrus essential oil, but it does smell kind of herbal to me, which makes it the perfect transition and segue from the in-your-face lime to my base note, which is sandalwood. Sandalwood is rich, it's dark, smells like a lumberjack, hence the name of the fragrance, Spirited Bay. All right, now that I've shown you some examples of essential oil combinations, it's time to actually make our fragrance oils, which requires some ever so slight math. I know, just stick, I know, don't run, where are you go? As a general rule, one milliliter is about 20 drops of liquid. The larger roll-on container with the black cap is about 30 milliliters, and the smaller roll-on container that you see with the gold cap is about 10 milliliters. So just multiply the size of your container in milliliters by 20, and that should give you about the total number of drops that can fit in your container. We need to calculate how many drops should be essential oil versus how many drops should be your carrier oil. If you're just starting out like I am, I've seen on Pinterest that they suggest you start out with 20% essential oil and the rest, 80%, is your carrier oil. That creates a mild fragrance that you probably will have to reapply multiple times a day. So 20% of the 200 drops that can fit in my smaller 10 milliliter bottle is 40. For the larger roll-on bottle, that was about 30 milliliters. Remember, 30 times 20 is 600. So 20% of those 600 drops equals 120. So 120 drops will be your essential oil fragrance combination, and the rest will be carrier oils. So now that we've determined how many drops should be our essential oils, now we need to determine how many drops of each of the three oils we selected should make up that 20%. All right, so remember this ratio. Two parts base to one part heart or middle note to two parts top note. 
Why are we using this ratio? Because Pinterest told me so. So for example, I will use the smaller 10 milliliter bottle to mix my first fragrance, Calming Creamsicle. So a two to one to two ratio of 40 total drops means that 16 of those drops will be our base, vanilla. Eight of those drops will be our middle or heart note, chamomile. And 16 drops will be our top note, sweet orange. 16 plus eight plus 16 is 40. And 40 is 20% of the 200 total drops that will fit in our 10 milliliter roll-on bottle. You with me? Have you left yet? Let's try it again with fragrance number two, Bearded Bay. Two parts space to one part heart to two parts top note. Means that 48 of those drops will be our base, sandalwood. 24 of those drops will be our heart note or middle note, bergamot. And then 48 drops will be our top note, lime. 48 plus 24 plus 48 equals 120. Got it? Girl, if you don't remember how to do ratios, it's fine. You can Google it. I had to Google it. I haven't done ratios since I was like in sixth grade. No shame at all if you have to Google, if you gotta ask Jeeves, do what you gotta do. All right. Now that we've calculated how many drops of each essential oil should go into our fragrance, we can begin to mix the oils. Start with your base note. Base, foundation, get it? Should be the first, should be the first layer. Next, add your middle or heart note. Stop and swirl. This is just to let those two essential oils mix and mesh and mash together before we add our top note. After you're done with that, go ahead and add your top note. Stop and swirl. Sniff. And then add drops here and there accordingly. And then fill the rest of your container with the carrier oils you chose. I don't have any measurements for the carrier oils. I just put them in there however I want, making sure to fill it to the top. Now stop, put the cap on, and shake. And now your essential oils are mixing and mashing with the carrier oils. They're getting diluted and everything's getting all nice and cozy. Add a couple of dried flower petals to the mixture, one by one, until it suits your fancy. Pop the roll-on on top, and you're done. You can apply this perfume anywhere, but as always, it is suggested that you apply it to your pulse points, right under your earlobe, the inside of your neck, your wrists, maybe even a little crevice fold of your elbow, so that every time your heart beats, the raw, intense passion of your life's blood intensifies the scent. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to check out the video description box for links to everywhere that I purchased these supplies. In the comments below, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer them. And also let me know what your favorite scents are. And I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye.